Four workers injured in the corn mill explosion in Cambria remain in the hospital tonight. You recall the blast claimed a fourth victim yesterday, Angel Reyes, who died from his injuries in the hospital. NBC 26's Shara Taylor is live in Cambria tonight after speaking with the company's CEO today. Shara. Stacey, Riley Didion says by tomorrow, the majority of employees should be back at work. He says some have been relocated to their ethanol facility next door or locations in Marcusan or Johnson's Creek. Some workers returned Friday, but a bulk started today. No one is allowed at the site where the explosion happened besides investigators. Until we can receive that site back and the governmental agencies and walk through their process, we won't have anybody on site. The only people that we will see on site for a period of time is to continue to walk through the process of, uh, of reviewing what happened and things of that nature. Didion says with safety precautions, it is difficult to get into the site regardless of who you are. He says there are two to three counselors on site, but says they have always been available to the team. The company CEO says Didion has provided representatives to families at the hospital. In Cambria, Shara Taylor, NBC26.